Looks like Walker left some fun for us. Time to earn our pay. Puta madre! Who are these guys? If you want to live long enough to find out, keep your head down. Staring down the barrel of Walker's gun, the situation becomes a tangled web of conflicting loyalties. I've known Walker from past missions, a gruff character, but someone I considered an ally. Now he's here with orders that clash with mine. The engineer Daniel Ariano caught in the crossfire. The revelation about Bowman, my handler is jarring. Accusations of selling secrets to the cartel shake the foundation of trust. Engaging! Mierda, get me out of here! The clandestine world is full of double dealing, but this is different. There's a personal connection, a bond formed in the crucible of missions gone by. Unadaid forces closing and add urgency to an already complicated scenario. The facility, a battleground of loyalties and secrets, is about to erupt. Walker insists on Daniel's interrogation, while my orders demand a different approach, bringing the engineer back alive. The conflicting narratives make it hard to discern the truth. In the midst of this chaos, the loyalty to Bowman to the NUSA and to the mission becomes a conundrum. As gunfire echoes through the facility, my thoughts race seeking a path that aligns with my principles and the mission's objectives. It's a dance on a razor's edge, where each step could plunge me into a deeper abyss of uncertainty. In the dimly lit corridors of the facility, the clash with Unidad intensifies, echoing with the staccato rhythm of gunfire. Every room becomes a battleground, a lethal dance where life depends on split-second decisions. Ammo depletes, weapons heat up, and the pressure mounts with each step forward. Go 
Walker, an unexpected ally, fights by my side, creating diversions in this chaotic ballet against an overwhelming force. There's a strange camaraderie in the chaos, a nod to shared experiences in the sands of the Middle East. The reality of the situation forces me to confront the blurred lines of loyalty and duty. Daniel, the engineer caught in this crossfire, is sequestered for his safety. A pawn in a game with rules constantly changing. Night City, with its neon-lit streets and back-alley shootouts, feels like a distant memory, replaced by the urgency of survival in these sterile, concrete halls. Amidst the din of battle, my thoughts race seeking an exit strategy. Night City taught me that subtlety could be a more potent weapon than raw firepower, but here, in the bowels of this Skelcorp facility, survival hinges on adaptability and a relentless push forward. The weight of the situation, the echoes of gunfire, and the specter of betrayal paint a vivid picture of the shadows that haunt even the most clandestine operations. The RG5 feels heavier in my hands, a weapon foreign yet strangely comforting. The Chris's vector becomes an extension of my intent, spitting out controlled bursts as I navigate the unforgiving labyrinth of the facility. The fluorescent lights flicker overhead, casting erratic shadows that dance with each explosion of gunfire. The dormitories echo with the sounds of a firefight, a symphony of chaos that reverberates through the narrow hallways. The Vector's compact design proves its worth in these tight spaces, providing swift and precise bursts to eliminate threats. The air is thick with tension, a tangible force that accompanies the stench of gunpowder. Thinks the deafening gunfire, a mental checklist forms. RG5 loaded, vector prime. My mind races processing each movement, predicting the next ambush and scavenging every bit of ammo dropped by fallen Unidad soldiers. Survival depends on these moments of adaptation, 
A dance with the unknown in the pursuit of escape. As I ascend toward the dormitories, each step is measured, the adrenaline-fueled pulse guiding me through the hallways painted with the chaos of war. The cafeteria looms ahead, a potential respite or another battleground. In the midst of the maelstrom, Night City's neon glow feels like a distant dream, replaced by the stark reality of this concrete battleground. The metallic clank of my boots on the cold. Concrete stairs reverberates with each desperate ascent. Unidad forces relentlessly storming down, filling the narrow stairwell with bursts of gunfire. It's a precarious dance on the precipice of survival. Each step a gamble between finding cover and facing the onslaught head on. I can feel the tension building, my heart racing in sync with the rapid cadence of gunfire. The dim emergency lights overhead cast erratic shadows, turning the staircase into a labyrinth of uncertainty. The stench of cordage fills the air, a sharp reminder of the deadly stakes in the struggle for survival. Falling back becomes a tactical necessity, leveraging the twists and turns of the stairwell to funnel Unidad forces into confined spaces. The RGI-5's concussive blast echo in the tight confines, the Chris Vector's controlled bursts offering a brief respite before the next wave crashes down.
Every step forward is a calculated risk, knowing that Unidad soldiers, despite their superior armaments, share the same vulnerabilities as their Sicario counterparts. The stairwell becomes a battleground, a symphony of gunfire and frantic footsteps punctuating the tense atmosphere. The loading bay above promises a potential escape, a fleeting chance to break free from this relentless pursuit. Yet with every inch gained, the Unidad forces respond with unyielding determination. Survival hangs in the balance, the outcome uncertain as we continue this deadly dance in the concrete confines of the emergency stairwell. Go being in debt. As I approach the main railway tunnel, doubts swirl in my mind like the acrid smoke from the firefight. Walker's decision to stay behind, to hold off stragglers, raises suspicion. We've got history, a shared past from the Middle East. He might be gruff, but there's a trust that's developed over the crucible of shared battles. Bowman, on the other hand, is an unknown variable. The unsettling feeling of being a pawn in someone else's game rears its head. My history with the FIA and the manipulations in Dogtown echo in the recesses of my mind. Can I really trust her motives? Or am I just a means to an end in some larger, shadowy plan? The immediate mission takes precedence. Rescue the engineer, Daniel Ariano. But once that's accomplished, questions linger. I'm not one to be played. Not in Night City, not here. I'll need to reassess the alliances, question motives, and ensure that my actions align with my own agenda, not some hidden puppeteer's machinations. The tunnel ahead offers a moment of respite, a chance to collect my thoughts amidst the echoing aftermath of gunfire. Trust is a scarce commodity, and I'll need to navigate these treacherous waters with a keen eye. After all, when you're a pawn on someone else's chessboard, survival demands playing your own game.
This is where it ends, amigo. Take care and stay out of trouble. Bowman, this is Nomad. The package has been delivered. Excellent. Leave him at the safe house. I'll take care of it from here. ¿Qué haces? You got any cheese may about the cartel or the sicarios? Gracias. Shall we return to our regularly scheduled program of liberating the people of Bolivia from the tyranny of the Santa Blanca cartel? I'm ready to sling some more lead. Not yet. I got a funny feeling about Bowman and this engineer. Let's get moving.